I have cooler beds. <laughs> Yo, he got the piss bed. In this Minecraft video, myself and a few of my friends are going to be playing hardcore Skyblock with one single goal. To survive 100 days without having one of us die. If any one of us dies, we have to restart all the way from day one. All the footage you see here is from my Twitch channel at twitch.tv forward slash Volkar. So if you want to watch more 100 days content live, then go give me a follow. One final thing to mention before we head into the video, a solid 80% of you aren't currently subscribed. If we get to 1000 subscribers by the end of May, I'll let you, the viewers, have a say in what 100 days video I make next. All right. I've wasted enough of your time. It's time to begin our Skyblock Trios adventure, or as I like to call it, Cobblestone Mining Simulator. On day one, we did the usual things people do on their first Skyblock day. We punched dirt, we punched a tree, and we waited around for a sapling to drop while my friend Kerp built our cobblestone generator. I myself volunteered to be on cobblestone duty after what had happened in our previous attempt at surviving 100 days in Skyblock. Oh. That's right. Did I forget to mention that this is actually our second attempt at this? Roll the clip! You shoot me. So... Can someone please... I'm gonna, like, uh, need to clip I that myself. Or... Or... Hold on. Yeah, honestly, let's just forget that ever happened. I promise to be a good lad this time and not die to any random creepers. We don't want to restart this for a third time, right? Right? On day two, I decided to turn on some shaders to make the very bland skyblock world that we were about to build somewhat less bland. Listen, if I was going to spend 100 days looking at cobblestone, that cobblestone better look pretty. It was at this point that Kerp was told that he would be given $5 to punch someone off the world, and to help my brother make a quick buck, I volunteered myself, only barely landing in the water before falling into the endless void. Well, here's the again. thing. I was offered a sub to punch you off, and I said no because I knew you'd fail, so. What the hell? <laughs> well, I mean, do what? you want to go for the challenge now? Huh? Absolutely not. <laughs> Near the end of day two, the boys and I decided to ramp up cobblestone production by making a second mining area. But honestly, that's not really that important. What is important is what happened while it was being built. Okay, that's not where- okay, Is the yeah, water not moving for other people or is that just me? No, I can't tell, I'm using thing. shavers. Alright, so this should be good because it'll just- Shavers? <laughs> God, God damn shavers? it, I really hope nobody would notice. God <laughs> if damn. I just don't say anything. <laughs> if I don't say anything, nobody's gonna hey. notice. Okay. Back to more cobblestone grinding while my friends build out to the outer islands. Or at least, that was what I was supposed to be doing, but instead I decided to take a little dip in the lava. Did you know that a lava bath isn't very good for the skin? Apparently it gives severe first degree burns. The more you know. Well... Now I'm stuck on two hearts with no hunger. What a great start past Marvin. Future Marvin is severely unhappy with your performance. At this rate, we're going to die before we even hit the day 30 mark. My friends returned to our small island at the end of day two, and I was able to have a very healthy meal of an apple and some rotten flesh. Surprisingly, I was able to finish my meal without suffering any repercussions. Now that it was day three, I returned to being the hard worker of the group and continued to mine cobblestone. It's not like my fellow Skyblock survivors weren't also doing hard work like creating a mob grinder or anything. Nah, that's not like them at all. Instead, they decided to burn down a perfectly good tree. How could they do such a thing? I'm very disappointed in them. By the time day four had rolled around, I had plenty enough cobble to start building a nice large wall so that we wouldn't have to worry about any of us falling off our platform for any reason. Listen, it would be very stupid if one of us did that, but we weren't willing to take any risks. It was also on this day that the mob grinder had been completed. Now we can start focusing on getting some armor for better protection and some string so that we could go to sleep and not have to worry about those pesky phantoms. I mean, honestly, I can't believe that we thought phantoms were a good idea. I can't believe I'm going to be saying this, but even the glow squid was better than phantoms. And with that said, justice for piss cow! After a long night of killing everything that the mob grinder produced, we were finally able to make some beds. Colored ones at that. So fancy. 
While I had been doing, once again, the hard work of mining cobblestone that everyone so loves me for, the others had went ahead and built a farm for better food. And so I went and took a short break from mining and used some bone meal to make myself some good ol' wheat. Oh yeah baby, that's the stuff. Oh, and the others decided to go into the nether while I did a little dance. Dude, what the hell, past Morvin? Come on. Why aren't you going with them? Oh, well. You do be kind of vibing though, so I'll let you off this time. Okay, now that the dance session is over, it's time for me to get a little look at the nether for myself. Okay, I've been here long enough. Back to the overworld. I'll be honest, at this point I didn't really know what needed to be done as my skyblock experience is next to none. So I decided to grind some mobs and make some more potatoes while I waited for a new task from Haven and Kerp. And while grinding potatoes with bone meal, the soil block I was using... Depleted? Was I the only one that didn't know this was a thing? I was so confused when this happened. Okay, now that I had a bit of fun and learned some new things, it's time for me to get back to mining cobblestone for the rest of that day. Yay! Such good content! I hope I get to do something exciting for the next day. Day 7. I immediately go back to mining cobblestone for my Minecraft overlords. I don't know how much more I can do. Oh hey! The jungle tree that we placed down a few days ago finally grew. I now have a new task to do instead of mining cobblestone! Okay. Apparently the others were not happy with that, as on day 8, I was shot for leaving my post. By day 9, we were sick of sleeping on a bare platform in the sky, so we decided it was finally time to build a house. Except the problem was, nobody wanted to volunteer to make said house. Eventually, I decided to take up the mantle of building the house as to finally have something to do other than mine cobblestone. Little did they know, however, that letting me build the house was the wrong decision. You see, at first I made everything normal. Just your usual Minecraft house with the combination of cobblestone, logs, and planks being used to create some natural contrasts. But... Then it was time for me to build the roof, and with the final finishing touches of a few signs falsely declaring that we were the best, our starter home had been completed. The house had taken a lot longer than was expected to be completed due to the fact that, surprisingly, I had run out of cobblestone. So it wasn't until day 12 that we had actually gotten around to doing other tasks. And boy, did I do a lot of tasks. I did a bit of farming, a bit of grinding, and a bit of mining before our day was over. Jared! What? What? What have I done? I see what you've done. <laughs> what have I done? I've done nothing. What do you do? I see what you've done. Um, what, I forgot to fill in some cobble? Yeah, what? Yeah. Fair enough. On day 13, we had officially ventured into every corner of the overworld and had been to every single island. Y you know, when I say we, I actually mean Haven, as I had barely left our island up until this point. It was also at this point that I started to lose my mind just a tiny bit from being stuck in the sky with only cobblestone to look at. So jokes like this ended up being a very common thing. I wonder what's the weirdest reason anyone's been banned from anything anywhere. Imagine you get banned from someone's server for fucking their mom. <laughs> what the fuck? It, it's probably even happened. It's, there's probably a case of just like some people in like college or something and they have their like a, gr a group <laughs> Minecraft server and one of them got banned because they fucked some the owner's <laughs> That's totally happened. This 100% happened somewhere, someplace, at some time. <laughs> We're in bed by the way, Kerp. Oh, sheesh. Dude, why, why aren't you been on the mic? Bro, I am because I slept with his mom. <laughs> I don't know why it's such a big deal. It's just his mom, bro. Bro, bro she's like totally hot. So like, she came on to me. I, I had to bang, bro. I like, oh, that's what, that's my one good joke for the month. Okay, everybody, oh, time to chalk it up. <laughs> Man, <laughs> that joke still gets me to this day. And I can confirm. That was definitely my one good joke of the month. That was it. That was it, everybody. I had nothing better for that month. And after that, I once again, you guessed it, went back to mining cobblestone. Whoa! -hoo -hoo! 
I'm having so much fun. Please get me out of this hell, please. I just want to see my children. I don't want to be with these people anymore. I would continue to be a slave to capitalism until day 17, where Haven and I decided to do a little prank on Kerp by changing our skins to the one, the only, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Hello there. We tried to see how long it would take before we noticed something was up, and to our surprise, it only took a few moments for Kerp to actually realize something was different. What is your skin? Oh, what do you mean? Your skin's normal. Today, while I was still mining for cobblestone, it was actually for a specific purpose instead of, well, we need cobblestone. Go mine cobblestone. Ha <laughs> ha. This time, Haven Hand was going to build a large pool of water for, you know, I honestly don't remember what it was for. All I remember was that Haven required me to get plenty of cobble for the project, and mine cobble I did. But what Haven didn't know was that while he and Kerp were gone from the base, I was on a secret mission. You could even call it a suspicious mission. You see, a few days earlier, one of my viewers and frequent enjoyer of our group's content came to me with a task. They said that if I built a sussy among us on the Skyblock world, they would sub to me on Twitch. I hadn't had the opportunity to complete said mission until now, however, as Kerp and Haven had always been somewhat nearby on our island, but now? Both of them were gone for the time being. It was the perfect time to strike. I started building the Sussy Among Us on day 18, but found that I had started the build with only a few more minutes of daylight. I thought it was over. I thought I had been caught making Among Us. But alas, Haven Hand is one blind lad and didn't even question the large structure that was being built by the farms. And thanks to him being so blind and ignorant, I was able to complete my Among Us statue without even a question about what the heck I was doing. However, my blissful state of having pulled off my build was soon cut short by Haven noticing it not even 10 seconds after it was finished. Look into Are you it, having so... a goddamn laugh? What? Marvin. Hmm? We need to- we, we need to make a lake! Yeah? You can't make a cobblestone among us! Are you fucking serious? This is my thing anyway, you can't steal my thing! I mean, I kinda, I kinda, I kinda just did. <laughs> I gotta say, you young, I, I can't do anything now! After that little event, it was time for me to go back to mining cobblestone to help with the lake. On day 21, Kirp and Haven had a fun argument about where a certain structure was in the nether. It was funny and not content relating to cobblestone mining, so have fun hearing it. Are you sure those are the right chords, Dan? Just around there, like, fairly confident. Can you pull them up or send them to me or something? Oh, sure, give me a sec. Because I don't have enough blocks and I'm not trying to go all the way back. Uh, negative 820, 5, 8, negative 580. Dude, that's like 300 blocks away from where you told me it was. Well, I told you originally, but then you weren't listening, and then I didn't no, remember. No, 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 you told me. Negative 800, negative 700. Yeah, it's not that far away. That's two. That's 200 blocks in a wrong direction in a void. Not that far away. <laughs> Can you send me, send me the, send the chords in the chat so I don't have to listen to your stupid voice anymore. Don't cry about it, just a little bit more. I sense yeah, that I Kirk will. is angry. You're a loser, and no one loves you. As an empath, I realize you are <laughs> upset. On day 24, I finally got word that the large cobblestone lake had finally been finished. So I decided to take a look at it. Wow, so cool. However, I very much did not like the fact that there was no protective barriers on the path there. So I took it upon myself to use the cobblestone that I had collected to make some walls and make the pathway safer. I would then continue to do the same exact things for the next few days. Man, I love Skyblock. Let's just start it, just over here. I say, among just, us. I say behind Among Us. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, it has nothing to do with Mug, it's just the best, it's just- best That is my contribution to these 10 days. You You're built Among Us. What else have you done today, Jared? I have mined for cobble, gotten some iron pants, and built Among Us. I can't wait to watch your- I'm so <laughs> proud of you. On day 27, while doing my daily mob grinding run, I apparently used up all my luck for the month and received a flame bow from a skeleton. 
Okay, that's it. Time for day 28. Day 28. Everything started like a normal skyblock day. I was doing my regular routine of mining cobblestone and grinding mobs when Haven got a request from a viewer. Oh man, so Please if don't. you guys don't have to be restart, how day, angry would you that'd be? be unfortunate. Just asking for a friend. Uh, I would be angry. You better, better not die. But yeah. it's, you know, it's, it's two subs. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Two oh, subs no. to reset? Only two? Wait, well, what's no, happening? No, no, no. Uh, I, I got told if I punched a Pikmin, then I'd get two subs. So, no. Do it. I mean, don't I'm be a little. Don't, <laughs> don't be no, a. Don't be a, don't don't be a bitch. I've, I've already done it. <laughs> I just. Oh, okay. I, I need someone to go into the and now help me with this situation. Honestly, I don't know why, but I thought it was the great idea for me to be the one to help Haven get out of his sticky little situation. So I entered the Nether for the second time in the 28 days we've played up until now with a bucket of lava in hand with no idea of how the hell I'm supposed to get Haven out of this. At first, it seemed like everything was going to be fine. We were slowly getting the pigmen to move away from Haven and I believed everything was going to be okay. But everything was, as it turned out, not okay. Why are there so many pigmen? I don't understand. Cause they... Okay. Okay, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna go, we're gonna go, we're gonna go. Haven! Oh Haven, no! <laughs> give me the number, give me the number, G give me the number, give me the number, give me the number, give me the number! Oh my god, I'm dead. Yep. After a bit of discussion and the evidence of a single block that I was unable to remove due to being under an immense amount of pressure, it was determined by the others and by Haven's chat that I was once again at fault for his death and the end of this series. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I appreciate every single one of you that stuck around to the end and yes, I know. It was a very disappointing end to what seemed like a very great Skyblock world. But I have some great news! We have actually just finished up doing our third attempt at 100 days Skyblock and it will actually be released very very soon. So yeah, that's a thing that's happening. Expect more than one video this month. However, that is going to be all for today. So if you guys feel up to it, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment on the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.